Hey there, today's word is interesting. This word is not a word that we would hear in everyday vocabulary, but I believe that we should, because I think if we start aligning our thoughts with this, we are going to lead more enriched and beautiful lives. So the word for October 13th is opulent. Now, I I should have done this before, but I'm going to pull this up in real time. So I give you the dictionary definition of this word. And according to the dictionary, opulent means ostentatiously costly and luxurious or wealthy. When you think about your thoughts, Are these the type of thoughts that you're having, right? Are you thinking about what is luxurious? Are you thinking about what is wealthy? Are you thinking about it from a point of what you can't afford and what you can't do? And I'm not only talking about money. When I speak about something being expensive, I'm not just talking about money because remember, Money is not the only resource that you are going to need for your life. Your mental state, your spiritual state, your physical state, right? So your mindset, your spirituality, your faith, your health, these are all currency in your life. These are all resources and commodity in your life that you exchange for the things that you want. You exchange your mind in your job. You exchange your mind for the money that you make because you're going to have to think your way through everything that you do. You exchange your mind in relationships, right? It's so funny when people get angry, they say, I'm going to give that person a piece of my mind. Don't do that. Your mind is precious. You should not be giving away pieces of your mind to anyone. Your mind is yours to keep. The words that you speak to others should be words that enlighten them and words that enrich them. So when we talk about opulence, we're talking about having a rich mind. This is how you live a rich life when you have a rich mind. And again, I don't mean rich in finances. In the A-list assignment, when we talk about accessing abundant life, abundant life is not just about having money and lots of things. Abundant life is about being all that you can possibly be. And that starts by having a rich mind. So we talked about your mind and what about your body, right? The way that you care for your body enriches your life. The food that you eat, how you nurture your body literally enriches your life. So when we talk about opulence, opulence is not just about grand ballrooms and luxurious gowns and marble bathrooms um, bathed in candlelight where you bathe in milk that's been hand expressed from cows that came from Egypt. You know, these, these things that we can conjure up when we think about opulence, you can have opulence right where you are. And the last thing, which really is the first, your spirituality. When your spiritual life is rich, you can have opulence anywhere. You could be sitting in mud and rain could be pouring down on you. And unfortunately, there are some of us who their homes are gone because of recent events Um, with the flooding and and people's homes that have been destroyed in America and in other parts of the world. And some of these people have such a rich outlook 
on life, even though they've lost everything. They have such a rich outlook that many people who have all the things that they've lost and more don't have. So today, when we think about opulence, I want you to think not about marble and chandeliers and luxurious things. I want you to think about creating that richness within yourself, through your mind, through your body, and most importantly, through your spirituality. I hope this helps. Blessings on your journey. I'll talk to you soon.